My name is Demetriana, but my friends call me Demi, and welcome to my channel. Welcome to all of you watching me on YouTube or on Rumble. I see you there as well. So today in this video, I want to talk about different professionals um, and sources that I've looked at and listened to and read about that has informed my journey as a sexual health educator and as a Christian. They talk about, you know, sex and sexuality um, and different angles and perspectives that I think it would be very informative, whether you're single or married. And so that's what I'll be doing today. And if Sorry if I'm like looking down um, here and there. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. I want to specifically highlight three different um, professionals that I have a lot of respect for. I may not agree with everything that um, they might talk about. The information that they provide is very insightful and has actually really helped me. The first one I want to talk about is Dr. Julie Slattery. She has a ministry called Authentic Intimate, Authentic Intimacy. She not only talks about, you know, marriage in the context of like adult relationships and things like that, but she also talks about how parents can talk to their kids about sex in a God, on a godly way that's very edifying. I read her book, Rethinking Sexuality, like that book is so, so good. I highly recommend it. It really helped me to get a much more mature perspective on what sexuality is. And it's from her book that I learned so much about how sexuality is about that deep knowing that God created us to want to have that deep intimacy with him to be drawn to him in that way, to want to be open and raw and vulnerable with him, even though it can be uncomfortable when it comes to our relationship with God in that way. But that's how we were designed and that's how our sexuality was meant to be for us to have, you know, to seek deeper relationships with other people, like whether it was with our friends, with our romantic partners, with our husbands, with our wives all of those things and so um, I really highly recommend checking out her book it really helped me to get a more mature perspective on sexuality and also her podcast definitely check out her podcast there it's called Java with Julie and it's a really good podcast she touches on various topics one of my favorite podcasts that she done was about modesty I really appreciated how she talked about it in a way that it's kind of different. It isn't like a shaming session about how women are walking around half naked, causing men to fall. Um, she really talked more about how the Holy Spirit is meant to really convict us in terms of how we present ourselves to the world and to help us really look at our motives. And it was a very grace-filled podcast and the other two I'll talk about are as far as I know one of them isn't Christian another one um she she hasn't said she's not Christian but I can imagine like based on how she talks about stuff she might not be and so um the other person that I want to talk about is Dr. Lori Watson I saw her on a, um, on, um, some of you might be familiar with Kevin Fred Kevin Fredericks and his wife Melissa Fredericks, Kev on stage and Mrs. Kev on stage. They had um, a podcast called Love Hour, and Mrs. Kev on stage or Melissa, she would bring on different guests to talk about sex and relationships. And Dr. Lori Watson was on there, and she was talking a lot about you know, pursuers, initiators, withdrawers when it comes to sex between a husband and wife. And I just really like the language that she uses in order to talk about it. And I checked out her podcast. It's called Foreplay Radio. Let me make sure I got it right. Yeah, Foreplay Radio, Couples and Sex Therapy. There's this one podcast. Um, it's episode 107. It's called Ultimate Sex Game. And it was really talking about, um, I think it's, game theory or gaming theory when it comes to sexual dynamics between partners and 
I don't know. Like, even though it was not a Christian podcast, God really used it to help me see how selfish I had been when it came to sexual desires and how much I wanted to have sex when I was married. And it's not to say the desires are bad. It's just more so really helping me to realize that sex, intercourse, intimacy, it's so much less about making sure that I get all that I need and all that. I just highly recommend you checking out that episode. It really helped me to think. That coupled with Dr. Slattery's um, book and the different podcasts really helped me to just mature more in terms of how I approach intimacy with my husband. Before I go on to the last one, some honorable mentions. There's um, this podcast, um, Sex Chat with Wives. It's a Christian podcast on Christian women. And they, it's just a couple of women that are a bit older and they talk about, you know, their experiences, um, have, you know, through, you know, their marriage when it comes to, you know, sexual intimacy with their husbands. They talk about different trials they have gone through, whether it's illness, infidelity, different types of things that would have an impact on their sex life and how to rebuild trust. And also just taking away the shame of sex and talking about it. Um, I really like their podcast as well. Um, another honorable mention is Sheila Gregor. She has the Bare Marriage podcast. Saw that Sheila was talking about women, you know, you have a clitoris. Sex is for you too. That's something that isn't talked about in Christian a lot. I appreciated her talking about that um, because I felt so seen hearing from her because I always heard about women not liking sex and I'm like, I don't relate. Even though I was a virgin, I was like, I really want to have sex. She really helped me to understand that there are some women that experience certain things and this might be why. Because of purity culture, because of what we've been taught, because of what men have been taught. She talked about vaginismus as well. I'm like, gosh, finally, Christians talking about vaginismus. And so I think her podcasts are awesome. The last one I want to bring up, and this might be a bit controversial, depending on, you know, who's watching and stuff like that. but. Shannon Boudram, AKA Sham Booty on YouTube. She has had such an impact on my journey, not only as a sexual health educator, but just in learning more about sex and sexuality. Um, she's definitely a lot more liberal when it comes to her perspectives about sex, very much so about exploring different relationship styles that might work best for you and your partner, whether it's an open relationship, um, whether it's having multiple partners, things like that. When I, I started watching her videos, I want to say like 2018. Yeah, like 20, yeah, like 2018. And her videos talking about orgasms and the mechanism of it and arousal and how all that works. And I talk about STIs and basic sex education. It was because I usually had done my own research looking things up online, but the way that she did it was very accessible and I really appreciated that and that I really got into her videos and hearing her talk about even her own journey with relationships really I don't know it was just very interesting she had she was very good at having a lot of self-reflection she really makes you think where you're like okay well why is it that I want to be monogamous yeah this is what the Bible says like God created us to be with one man and one woman um, we have desires how you know how do these desires work I just learned so much from her and I continue to learn a lot from her with her videos even as a married woman with two daughters seeing how she navigated um, being pregnant and what that means for her sexuality her sexual intimacy with her husband recently she has said that she is going to you know pivot away from focusing so much on her personal life and you know, do different things. Um, Cause she has a podcast, Lovers and Friends, which is really good. Like it definitely challenges different paradigms that I hold, but it's a good thing. Like it really makes me think and think about, okay, well, why do I choose this lifestyle? Like, why is it? Because yeah, I'm a Christian, but I still have agency and choice. And so, yeah, definitely highly, highly recommend her channel. Yeah, so those are some people that I think are great that I think it would be you know, cool for you guys to look up if you guys want to know more about sex and sexuality from a Christian perspective or a non-Christian 
perspective. And I think it's all, I think we can all glean information from different sources. It does, the person doesn't have to have our same world view. We can learn a lot from each other. I think we need more of that in the world. Like in the US, we're just so polarized. Understandably, because objective truth is being attacked, um, I can definitely acknowledge that. But that doesn't mean that we can't, you know, listen to people or hear people out that we might not otherwise agree with on a lot of things. You never know. We can learn so much from each other. So that's why I wanted to provide, you know, different sources that not only have informed my journey as a sexual health educator in terms of how to approach different topics when I educate on my own job and also when I eventually start to do more of that through my nonprofit, but also just as a woman, as a married woman, just having a better understanding. Um, please, you know, share your thoughts in the comments. I would love to hear what you guys think. If you guys have other podcasts you want to recommend, please leave them down in the comments below. Also, follow me on Instagram at DemiDixon34. Um, I'm more active in my stories, but if you also want to have a more one-on-one -on -one conversation about this topic instead of in the comment section, that's fine. You can send me a DM and we can do that there. But um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day. Please like and subscribe to this channel. And I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye.